What's up, guys? It's here again, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. We did many a thing, and we're going to continue to do many a thing. Off we go. Looking at me differently, probably from last night when um she thought we were transforming. I have a confession. Okay. I was too hasty to judge you. Okay. I thought you witless, gutless, unimpressively bland. Wow. Honest. Can I assume? <laughs> I don't pay compliments. I only say what is true. I appreciate it. You've proven me wrong at every turn. You are efficient, dominant, courageous. Thanks. I is it swear, quiet? I feel like it's quiet. You would tear the horns off one dragon for plunging into another. You've gained my respect, and more still, my yearning. Whoa, wait, when hold I on. Come near. Your odor alone is enough to make my neck sweat. And my hairs stand on end. <laughs> Aren't we forward? Aren't we forward? Wait, 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 wait. Everything's very quiet. <laughs> these answers. I don't like any of these. <laughs> oh my god. That's like the only. That's the only acceptable one. That's the only acceptable one, because the first one's rude. The first one's rude. Second one is you're playing dumb, because that's very clear. You're playing very stupid. Uh, the third one's a lie. <laughs> but it's not a full lie, but it's a lie right now, because I'm very loyal to Shadow Hearts, and I will refuse to break any hearts. I've been a player in far too many D&D &D campaigns, and they've bitten me in the back. <laughs> Always. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, and four is atrocious. I hate them. Isn't it obvious? It is. I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. How do I gently let do her down? You? I, I hate rejection. You will loss, I fear. Yes, this is true. Soon. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. Has she not said this to me before? How my fingers on your skin might have felt. And you will wish you could return to this lost moment. This is very true. I apologize greatly. I am going to go over here now. I thought that conversation was going to take a very different turn. I thought that conversation was going to be like, yeah, no, uh, ever since that night, I feel like I should just make sure that you're not going to turn into a tentacle beast. I thought that's where that was going. My bad. I was hoping you'd come to chat. What do you need? Maybe why did you want to come chat? Is that Lizelle in the background? Putting her in the background is messed up and evil, by the way. Why is she in the background? Oh, because she's over there. I see. I see the I see the perspective. I see the cameras. It's fine. Wow. This one. Fine. What's on your mind? That did not sound... Ex that I'm going to turn to other matters. I was wrong. I should not have picked that one, uh, actually. Very serious of you. But go ahead. <laughs> I'm so serious. Oh my god, how are you faring? Always good when I'm with you. Oh, wow! This is a sweetheart! Ah! That's great. That's great. I'm okay. I'm okay. That made me feel better. Thank you. Mwah. I will go leave now. This man's dying. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon... I think that's what I got. I really thought I had more, but I think that's what I got right now. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Good gods. That sounded too close well, to my ear, effect. that sigh. I thought someone was like in a voice I call with me on Discord or something. On and, like breathing. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Mm-hmm. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. Okay. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. Okay. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. Mm -hmm. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse, and later even my lover. Oh yes, 
We enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. Why would you do see, that? No matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. That's a red flag, Gail. That's a bit of a red flag, crossing a woman's boundaries. That's a bit, I'm, I'm very disappointed in you. Uh, quite frankly. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm disappointed. Quiet. I'm disappointed, I Gail. I to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. Swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. And yet I wasn't satisfied. Yeah, you crazy so man. I to prove myself worthy to her instead. Is that oh, Come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? I'm intrigued. I'll Very allow it. Very well. Here goes. Mm -hmm. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. Okay. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. I see. He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms. Until the day Mistra returned. Okay. She restored <clears throat> the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Okay, that's, that's a fair idea. How did this go wrong? You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I mean... I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Why are you kneeling? Let me show you. Why are you kneeling? Why are we kneeling? You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory, a book bound and suddenly opened. Sorry, I should not be making this. Inside, I'm sorry, guys. There are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces its teeth. It's claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. <laughs> Finn's face! This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. And why... Why hasn't she fixed that? Why weren't you like, hey, babe, 
I kind of, I wanted to do something nice for you, and I kind of bit off more than I could chew. Uh, now my life hangs in the balance. Can we fix this, please? Why didn't Rather you do that? Worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, it'd level a city the size of Waterdeep. Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Not Say really. The word, and we'll part ways. Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the Underdark as I possibly could. Till they cloud my eyes forever. With a bit of luck, I'd manage to make it to a mind flare colony so that when the orb erupts, one loud, last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. Wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. Okay. Um. That is... A great relief. Yeah, I can oh, imagine, considering indeed. your other option is Truly suicide. A soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. You're welcome. I can... Thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. I appreciate I that. I stand at a we... precipice. Mm -hmm. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Right now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Real quick, do you not have her on speed dial anymore? Like, how would you communicate with her? I, I want to know why she hasn't helped. What did you do? What? Like, I get... <sighs> okay. So you swallowed it and, like, is it because you're ashamed that you're like, hey, I fucked up. I'm not going to do tell my ex right or girlfriend currently i don't even know what's going on anymore i really don't so she <laughs> i'm gonna believe until told otherwise that he's too embarrassed to tell this woman that he messed up irrevocably or however you pronounce it <laughs> that's crazy that's insane you hello what's on your mind Do, can you call her Ah, yes. Cassus. That is not who and I was talking about. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Right. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine then. what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken. As Cassus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel. And with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral. The end of Carsus and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. Mm. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. Right, okay, cool. Loving them has its side effects as well. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus, Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. Right. And try to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. So why haven't you told her? Why? <laughs> ah. 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 I can't do this. Hi, Withers. I almost had to make you revive Asterion, but I figured it out in the end. Don't worry about it. You probably don't have anything new to tell me. I live in constant pain and agony, and we're going to sleep. Good night. Good night, everyone. Any nighttime dialogue changes? 
But sh I love how Shadowheart's untouched right now. Asterion's on his deathbed. Sir Gale's been walking around this whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. You do not have to yell. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, but that's something I should know. Yeah, you're very right. You are very right, and I do apologize. Um... I have nothing to say about that, apparently. <laughs> but I've, I'm sorry. <laughs> to think Gales had this devastating war within himself the entire time and only just mentioned it. I don't want to hear it from you, Mr. Keep Vampire. like that from his friends. He can't trust anyone these days. You are certainly one to talk. You are certainly, you are certainly one to speak. Goodness me, you people. He can hear you. He's on the other side of camp, by the way. Speak. You're all yelling. Oh, she does not give a sh. She doesn't care. It's time for me to eat bees. Hunk you, hunk you. Oh God, what? What now? Oh, we're back with the the guardian. I promised I'd be back. This is true. It's been one night. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Halsin might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. I see. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. Oh! You were lucky that Halsin knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites are merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. That's crazy. That's insane. That's crazy. I am not sure yet. To find the answers, we must first find the source. These parasites are more than a lithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The right. infected hear the voice of the Absolute and believe it to be a god. Right. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, can... <laughs> It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be mind flayers in an instant. Oh, wow. Were it not for my protection, so would you. I see. Okay. Because I am just like you, and I need an ally. You have a tadpole? Just like you. I was infected Aha! with a mind flayer parasite. Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. Okay, so it's a mutual win-win. If we work together, we may turn this around. I believe in us. Hells, they need me. I have to go. Oh. No, I can handle this for now. The power I used to protect you, I stole it from someone. Ah! They want it back. Got it. <laughs> I will hold them off for as long as I can, but sooner or later, I will be worn down. Right. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Got it. Got it. Oh, my, my, my.
Oh, God, I got like horrible chills just looking at it. Oh, <laughs> you! It's not meant to be. It's not meant to be. Oh, he's gonna get it! God. <laughs> oh, it's a low difficulty class. And only Vin would do that to me! What? Oh my god. I'm gonna. In the middle of nowhere, if this guy's ship just disappears, I can't stand this woman! I'm gonna beat this woman with a bat. She's a curse, bro! I hated her. Why are you. Why are you like this? <laughs> All right, surely that'll be the last one. That'll be the last one. I tell myself. I tell myself this. I tell myself. Alison, what's wrong with the the mountain pass again? Tell me that one more time. I'm certain the underdark is dangerous. Yes, but the alternative is suicide. Be patient and be thorough. The path will reveal itself in time. There it was. It may prove impossible to avoid the shadow curse entirely. But if you find any way to limit your exposure, seize it. So definitely not the mountain underpass is what I'm understanding. Definitely, definitely not the mountain pass, right? Right, right, that's what he's saying. But we need the pixie lantern to work. How do we get the pixie lantern to work? Okay. I need to find someone who can fix that lamp then. That's going to be priority one. Who would be able to fix the, the lamp? Who's the- oh, hello? It's Miss There's Exclu something I've been wanting to share with you. If now's a good time. Enemy spotted. <laughs> what? Why? Why is he always staring at me? I'm all ears. It's difficult to put into words. I think it might be easier to just show you. Oh gosh, what is going on? Here's the tadpole. The connection. Come into my mind. Ooh, okay. I'm sure. I trust you. Oh, I appreciate that. I'll be gentle as I can be with a parasite. I don't remember how it started. Only how it ended. I was fleeing. Okay. Oh, is she a baby? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a very serious memory. Oh. oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. my name I can't remember what I said I can't remember anything before those words all I know is she saved my life and gave me a new home with Lady Shah <laughs> it hurts oh honey that's all I remember Oh, frick, Ben! Normally I'd agree, but with you, it's getting easier by the moment. Oh, so sharp. I was. He mentioned Dark Justicias, and we've come across other signs of a Sharon presence during our travels. 
I'm not sure I can dismiss that as a coincidence. Right. Okay. We there must be a way to heal it, but neither of us would know how. So that seems very silly for me to say. She can't remember anything. Why did it happen just now? That wasn't even a good deed. Is it because she shared the memory and that goes against Char's is that Pain is the gauntlet that all who love Lady Shah must endure. Okay. Only her embrace can truly heal me. Got it. To try and salve myself would do nothing but shame me in the Night Singer's eyes. I see. I apologize. I want to do this one because this one's real. But knowing Vin's roles, I should go with persuasion. <laughs> w. Perhaps you're right. But there's little we can do about it just now. Maybe a way will present itself in time if Lady Shah wills it. Right. Right, 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 right. Good point, good point, good point, good point. Hey, you, would you happen to know how to fix a lantern? He can't do anything about the lamp. I can only assume that this lady can't do anything about the lamp until I find her gnome picking husband or something. Let's go attempt to find this man, right? But maybe it'll lead us to someone or somewhere or so whatever. Man, I'm out of options. I We can't go through the mountain pass because it's too dangerous. And we, quite frankly, need the lamp to be fixed. But I don't know who can fix it, so... Something about that tree. Deep. Almost like an invisible hand fresh. pulling me towards it. Some monster did this, marking its territory. You guys cannot speak at the same time. You, What was that? What just happened? Okay, so here's what's gonna have to be done. I'm gonna make... Only Vin go through this. All of you stay put. Stop! Stop! People dying! Stop! Please! Don't move! Just listen! These mushrooms, toxic. Right. So what are you Scroll. doing in there? Escape. My bag, please. I've dropped it somewhere. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow, that was my dog. Fine. We're fine. We're fine. You and me. You and me. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Stop! Stop! People dying. I'm next to you. I... These mushrooms. Talk. Scroll. Escape. My bag. Yes. That's. Yes. I just have to. And then. Ah! Yippee! Right, as, uh, <laughs> what were you saying? Tell it. I must. need to go. For you. Your trouble. Ta. Why are you guys sighing? We haven't done anything. Were there other ways to save him? Probably a million different ways to save him. Personally, I would have picked him up and used Missy Step because I think that's something you can do. Fine, we'll just use both there the scrolls. Are. Did you bring the noble stock? The what? Noble stock? The mushroom? I knew I was forgetting something. What? Sorry, love. Absolutely worthless. 70 years of terror. For what? 
That man's not gonna fix our lamp. That man's not gonna fix our lamp, man. Look at that. Got my useless old man back. Didn't think the likes of you took to helping folk. I don't. I really don't. As a whole. I... I think I... Uh, uh, anyway, uh, what do you say? That man cannot fix our lantern. He's not fixing it. Who who can fix it? Who? The artificers? Could the artificers fix it? Would you guys know how to fix? Hey, lamb. Just a little more rest and I'll be ready to get out of here. Right, before you do that. No, hold on. Someone speak to me, please. Anyone Maybe know anything about a lantern? You saved my skin. But there's more bastards out there. For everyone you kill, pint on me. You should be careful with what you promise, because I will kill many. <laughs> I will. Like, it's red. Don't touch it. But also, like, who's going to stop me? I had another visit from that dream figure. I take oh. it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, We'll find the answers we're looking for. Maybe. It gave me another gift, too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, if you ask me. And if that fails, then there's always killing them quietly. Now, was there anything else? No. I clicked on you by accident, to be fair. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, my head hurts. We are going to save and we're going to try to go through up there because what if the solution is up there? What if they're like, wait, your lantern. And I'm like, oh, I've got one right here. Can you fix it? You know, like, It's so unlikely, but it's a possibility. It is a possibility. Plus the, the mountain pass gate is like broken anyways. For a party of my level. What is my level? It's like four or something, right? Ah, the elevator's broken, and we're too under leveled to go through the other place. We're gonna go. We're gonna see what happens. Even if it tells us that we're too under leveled, we're gonna we're gonna go around and find out. We didn't immediately die. Um. Don't touch me. Let's crack it. I need you to open a chest, motherfucker. Give me attitude again. Give me attitude again. A level one traveler with 67 HP sounds sus to me. Sounds sus to me. But maybe he can fix my lamp. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Hello. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if the chance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale. Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster Omar. Now, if this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this limbo of indecision, but settle on your knowledge of the individual I seek. Uh, ever a man of leisure. <laughs> Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? And I would confirm it to be so. Please. After you. We have to go back to camp. I see. Okay. It's fine. The waypoint is close I enough to the elevator. For your excellent guidance. Ah. And yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. 
How so on my behalf? I was bid and spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But the why? One. Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Uh. Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Oh, for the love of... Hey, man, fine, you're the one who's on the run from a fine, god, apparently. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um, Laugh! It was funny. You see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. You're welcome. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now but even so you're to be given a chance of redemption mistra would consider forgiveness she would consider what she considers to be forgiveness mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both she knows of your strife with the absolute that most insidious of evils. The very purpose of my presence. In a roundabout sort of way. I really just wanted him to fix my lantern, you but here we are. Know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods. The weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Oh, no. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. It would kill Gil regardless. You must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world option three is wild no indeed but i think she trusts me too yeah 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 it brings me no pleasure saying this my friend but such is mistress will Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. It's crazy. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. That's insane. Such is Mistress Promise. You're With redeemed that, in I death. Have said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. 
It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. Awesome. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. I will do my best, but as you saw, I am kind of lost. On my honor, I'm not sure yet I can say the same. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Where are we now? What is this camp? It's a pretty camp. I like this camp a lot, actually. Where are we? An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But... We should have offered him food after he explained everything. Can't believe you just sent him on his merry way like that. You're so mean. The Doddering Act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. <laughs> Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. Okay. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. That's a very the slate diluted way of saying that. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Possibly the most spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes. I'm living on borrowed time in more ways than one. Perhaps. Perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Hmm. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the absolute and stop its beating. Nice, that's cool. So he does not fix my lamp, in fact. Uh, another broken. A broken moon lantern catches your eye. Its glow now snuffed out. Do you feel it? The chill on your skin, in your lungs? This darkness is diseased. I've never seen darkness like this before. It's unsettling. Darkness or not, we need to reach Moonrise Towers. We do, but I would feel a lot better if we had a functioning lantern right now. So it doesn't have to be a pixie lantern. What's next? The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. 
Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Can't worry about me! I love you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Okay. Those signs we found about Dark Justicias. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna end the episode here now that we're not dying. That's intense. That's wild. That's crazy. That's insane. That's crazy. Lots of things have gone on. Ah! Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And if you really like my content, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload, you know about it. Um, I'll see you in the next episode.